Tonight may be the night. <laughs> now wait. I know what you're thinking. Craig, you didn't even hit the fire with the log tonight. And that's true, I didn't. But in my defense, I'm European. And I, I got a splinter on my finger. J just now, from the wood? Yeah, yeah, from the wood. I got something on my finger from the wood. <laughs> what about from the log? <laughs> Can you suck it out? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Man. Man, that was kind of weird, that wasn't was it? weird. Anyway, look, I'm slightly concerned tonight, not just about the fact that I can't throw a log in a fire. I'm wearing a vest, and I think it may have been a bad choice. No, why, why is that? Well, it makes me look a little bit like a mortician. Tonight, my bony friend and I will be talking like this. Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> what did we do the other day that was quite successful? Oh, yes. Dracula Latino. Oh, yes. Yeah, Dracula yeah. Latino. Okay, then. You start. <laughs> hey, what is going on, Meng? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for some fruit from this cart? No, man. What the hell, man? No, man. That's, that's where you thing. crossed the line. Oh, man. That's real. You crossed the line. That's it was real. all fun until you became that's a real racist. man. That's a real yeah, thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell, man? Nice vest. Oh, <laughs> you. You. How dare you? No, how dare you? I'm done, How man. dare you? You skinny little bitch, standing there, commenting on Michael. You've been wearing the same suit since you started in this show. How dare you? I've been plugged into this wall, standing here every night, waiting for your ass to get here. <laughs> Sorry, we have to do what we learned at the therapist. When you yell at me, I can't hear you properly. <laughs> it makes me feel afraid. When you wear that vest, <laughs> I get distracted. <laughs> you saying the vest turns you on a little bit? It turns bit? me on. Yeah, because it's a little tight. It's a little tight. It's like, oh, my clothes are tight and it's raining. Sponsored by Zentac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. That's great. Please don't let your applause go on too long this evening, after all. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. 
You've already proved to me that you are, in fact, better than last night's audience, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. What a crowd, Jeff. Hey, it's crowd. Almost... Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Hey. It's... All right. It's a great day for America, everybody. It's, uh, it, it, yes, it is. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, I'll tell you why, because I'm wearing my vest. <laughs> and that's how you know it's Friday. <laughs> it feels a bit snug, actually. I think I've put on weight. I don't have put this vest on for a while, and I put it on, and I'm like, someone needs man spanks. Oh, dear. What's yeah. going on, man? Oh, well, well, I think I'm eating too much. Uh, a little bit like the horse, actually. <laughs> you didn't see this. But uh, during the commercial break, uh, before we... Uh, he, the horse was eating a banana, is what I'm saying. <laughs> the horse was eating a banana. Did you see that? Yeah, he's got a potassium thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you have a potassium <laughs> thing? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know you needed the banana. <laughs> anyway, it's Friday, everybody. It's a big day for Hollywood. The Oscar season has officially begun today. Uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, because the movie, the racing movie Rush opened today in New York and Los Angeles. If you live in the rest of the country, Hollywood thinks that you don't matter. <laughs> really, they don't care about you. I met Hollywood at a party, they're like, nah, Crikey. those guys. <laughs> it's a Scottish word, Michael. It's a word that my people use. You are a racist, sir. <laughs> you know why I think, even when they open a sports movie in L.A., I'm like, why would you open a sports movie in L.A.? That's crazy to me. It's like every sporting event in LA, people only show up at the very end. They're like, it's only the last few minutes that are important. <laughs> Yay, team! <laughs> is that Jack Nicholson? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I have to say, you know, when I heard about the movie Rush, I thought, this is going to be great. And now I'm disappointed because I thought it was about, you know, Rush, the progressive jazz rock Canadian pop. <laughs> Those guys can move their fingers really fast, can't they? Yeah. yeah. And then they pick up their instruments and yeah. play them. Yeah. Yeah. See, what I did there is I implied I've had sex with the members of Rush. Yeah, yeah, no, I... I, I haven't, of no, course. No, no, no. No, Rush, the movie, is about uh, the Formula One driver, James Hunt. You all right, man? All uh, right. You okay? It's a guy who developed a hacking cough Damn, up there. Man. It's like he's been here all night. Yeah. It's like he got here yesterday and has stayed overnight. And is and he's like, <coughs> please let me out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Rush, the movie is about the Formula One racing driver, James Hunt. Uh, when I was growing up, James Hunt was a huge celebrity. He was loved by everyone. He was always on TV. He had sex with thousands of women. He was the 1970s Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke, bro. It's a joke. It's a joke. Tell joke, Rosie it's a joke. It's a joke, it's a joke bro. I love you, baby. I'm sorry. It was a joke. They made me do it. They said, if, if you don't do that joke about Rosie, you, we'll hurt you. <laughs> ham! Ham, Rosie! He made me do it! <laughs> do you drink a beverage during the show? <laughs> How come you get a beverage? I have to stand here. Like, well, that poor guy up there needs a beverage, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you give it, that poor guy's got some kind of dis consumptive thing going on. <laughs> oh, he's going, look at this, he's going. What the hell, man? Yeah, there you go, Pastor, uh -huh. there you there go. You go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really wish I'd worn this vest. <laughs> It's a bit snug. Yeah, it's feel, too yeah. snug, man. It's yeah. making me feel all snug. I feel all confined. I feel like, oh, it's I good. like it, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about James Hunt, the Formula One racing driver. You got a picture of James Hunt in the 70s? There he is. That was him there. Yeah, I know. Playing tennis in Speedos. <laughs> that was the 70s. I play tennis nude. <laughs> My opponents are never sure which fuzzy ball to go after. <laughs> Just a mess of balls all. It's, it's ball. Just don't. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. This audience are applauding balls jokes. Yeah, they are. You've come to the right place, everyone. <laughs> no, the movie Rush, anyway, is about the rivalry between James Hunt and Nicky Lauda. Now, Nicky Lauda was a great uh, racing driver. Uh, he was Austrian. In Austria, he's still considered their biggest celebrity. Well, their biggest celebrity who didn't impregnate the maid. Am I right? Right, yeah. <laughs> 
Could you very briefly do the... Uh, uh, Maria! Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> anyway, the actor who plays James Hunt has very big shoes to fill, is what I'm saying. Do we see the poster from it? There you are. Now, wait, see, that's Thor, though. <laughs> that's the actor Chris Hemsworth. He's Australian. His brother, Liam Hemsworth, has just broke up with Miley Cyrus. No. Yeah, I know about show business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I follow all that, apparently. Yeah, you're on the cusp. Yeah, I know about it. He probably did it in a very charming way. You know, the Australians are, good eye, Miley, crikey, ding, huh? I'm sorry, I, I'd like it to work, but it just isn't. Hi, hi. To work. See what I did? I said to work, yeah. Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember early on the week, when was it? Tuesday, Wednesday? John Lloyd was here, he was telling us about Australia, that the kangaroo has three vaginas. Yeah. <laughs> Kangaroos, that's true, they have three vaginas. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I know. I was like, two, I can kind of see, but... <laughs> Three? Yeah, it was two up high and, and one... And then one, one... No, it's. I think it's one down and two... I don't know, Two up, actually. one down. I, I don't know what the configuration is. I think it's just <laughs> a... It may be different for every kangaroo. <laughs> That's how they tell each other apart. Can you tell me the configuration? <laughs> Can you describe the kangaroo that attacked you, mate? <laughs> well, it had three vaginas. They've all got three vaginas! <laughs> well, there was one off to the side. And I think one over here, and then a, another one. <laughs> it's taking a very odd turn, the yeah, show today, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm describing a man who was attacked by a female kangaroo and has to describe it to the Australian authorities. This is on national television right now. I'm sorry about wearing this vest, everybody. <laughs> I'll unbutton it and see where we go. Let, let me do don't, don't do that thing that I know you want to do. Don't do it. Yeah, see, the problem is, look, here's the problem. The tie's too short. <laughs> so, you know, it's like shame one way, shame the other way. <laughs> you know, the implication is that if the vest is too snug and the tie is too short, it would imply that I'm putting on weight. That's, that's the implication. That's the implication. I may have to actually weigh myself. I don't like doing that. It always is something I'm not pleased to see. <laughs> You're talking about fuzzy balls. <laughs> Want to take a break? Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, for a couple of months? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cartoons after this, everybody. <laughs> I took off the jacket, I loosened the vest, I feel a little more comfortable. Yeah, you look like Scottish Han Solo. That's you nice. really? I like that. You know the show me the castle run in seven parsecs? <laughs> Are you doing Scottish Chewbacca? Scottish Chewbacca, yeah. Dude, that, that is genius, yeah, if man. you don't mind yeah. me saying so. Yeah. But I think it'd be more uh, impressive is if you did Han Solo and I'll be Scottish Chewbacca. Okay. All, All right. right, then go. All right. Well, looks like we're not going to get out of this one, kid. <laughs> you said it, pal. I could go for some haggis, too. That's pretty impressive. That was nice. It took us to a whole different world there, didn't it? We should do a series. Nah. No. Um, do you think this is better, though? I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. I feel a little better. I feel a little, I, you know, a little more relaxed. It's like we're going to gamble, do some gambling. <laughs> I think it's CBS that's gambling, yeah. my friend. <laughs> Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who can differentiate one female kangaroo from another. <laughs> <laughs> Play the jingle, then. Here come the players. Yeah! They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely. Making lots of macaroni. Trap your 
more can get right to it. Craig's alarm to see you through it. Oh. Sweet or email, he don't care. We got both, so don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes. Use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Yeah! Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Listen, we get a lot of letters this week, a lot of emails, a lot of the tweets. Uh, people uh, getting a little annoyed, me and Jeff doing the thing, ringing the bell, and then speaking with a German accent. Yeah. To these people, I'd like to say, I am terribly sorry. <laughs> we won't do it anymore. <laughs> I, I ding the bell once, I am German. That's correct. What happens if I ding the bell a second time? You are still German. <laughs> correct. One person in the audience saw fit to try and applaud this move. Yeah, then. yeah. They very quickly stopped. They only went. <laughs> they were silenced. I really wish you wouldn't always make the German a Nazi. You always make the German a Nazi. I make the German a kind of weird, funny interest. Yeah. And, and you make the German a Nazi. That is correct. <laughs> Well, I think there are more interesting things to be if you're German. For example, I could be Florian Schneider. Oh, yeah, from Kraftwerk. From Kraftwerk. <laughs> fan, fan, fan of der Autobahn. I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. <laughs> you're welcome, four people. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is from Angela in Fall River in uh, America, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, would you ever consider replacing Secretariat with a real horse? Get ass and parsley. Angela! <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, man. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, he's going crazy. Look, he's going crazy. You pissed him off. Look, he's going crazy. Uh -oh. Let uh -oh. it go, man. Let it go. Uh -oh. Let it go, man. It's not worth it. Just relax. It's okay. <laughs> Calm down. Take a breath. Do a line. <laughs> yeah. <Jeez. laughs> Just so that everybody is okay with this, it's a pretend horse doing pretend cocaine. <laughs> All right, this is from Danny in Toronto. I don't know if you can tell, but Danny's some kind of fat pigeon with no legs. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, some kind of like uh, pigeon. That is a pigeon, isn't it? That's a pigeon, yeah. Have you ever eaten pigeon? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say that like you do it all the time. Well, that's how, that's how I died. You died from eating pigeon? Yeah, yeah, choked on the feet. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> so... <laughs> so remember, everybody, if you're eating pigeon at home, be careful of the feet. <laughs> because, you know, my poor friend Jeff. I always thought you died from some horrible crystal meth addiction. It wasn't that, it was pigeon. Yeah, it might, yeah, sure. Yeah, it was the pigeon. Yeah, it might have been. All right, I forgot to read the email, but it's gone now. This is from uh, Lana in Columbus, Ohio. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, this, this tie is so short that when I'm leaning on the desk, it kind of tickles the top of it like that. Look. I'm just trying to lean in the desk to be cool, and it's going, hey, still here, still short. <laughs> tiny little tie, implying you've got a tiny little penis, Craig. <laughs> that's, that's the tie talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my tie. Well, all right, you do the voice of my all tie, right, all right. and I'll listen to it. Okay. Yeah, well, here we go again. Oh, he's holding me up. Oh, boy, I guess I gotta perform. Dance for the man. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I dismiss you. I like that. <laughs> this is from David in Bakersfield in California. You ever been there? Oh, Bakersfield. That's a yeah. great place. What, what, you know what's so nice about that? Well, you tell me what you like about it. Oh, me. man, cooking meth. <laughs> so you have been to Bakersfield. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, my buddies are and I are looking for a great steak dinner in Vegas. Any suggestions? Yeah, you probably want a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're playing. I'm, I'm playing Vegas. You're not coming, right? No, I'm not coming. You're not coming? No. I'm playing Vegas next weekend. Are you not coming? No, man. Why not? No, I got to <laughs> gotta... eat a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you got a thing on? You're not yeah, coming? Yeah, I got a thing, man. I got a thing. You got a thing? Yeah. What, what kind of thing? I can't talk about it. <laughs> All right, then I'll, I'll talk about me playing Vegas. I'm playing in Vegas. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Venetian, that's where I'm playing. That's a nice place. Yeah, it is. It's a shame you can't make it. I got, I got a thing. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and finally, this is from Lamar and Lamar? Lamar? Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh, I hope he's not mad at me or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Lamar in Clovis, Texas. I'm thinking it's a different Lamar. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah no. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I had a thought. What about Vampire Downton Abbey? Might work. Um, right. Welcome to Downton Abbey. I think that's all I yeah, got, really. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, it's nice to be here. These crumpets are delicious. Oh. <laughs> Lady Dowager Countess, you've got a nice hat. Make a pass at me in this horse stall. I, I don't know what is going on. Well, I, ca I can't make a pass at you in the horse stall because it's daytime. I can't go out. I'm stuck here in the soil of my native land. In the soil, you say? Yeah, the soil. You know, I have the coffin and then the soil of my native land. Who, who puts the soil on top of the coffin after you get in? No, it's the, the soil is in the coffin. It's I part understand. of the... It's the whole Dracula. You didn't read Dracula? Of course I did, of course. Well, you know, he has to be in the soil of his native land. How does he get it there? Well, I think you've poked a hole in the otherwise totally believable story of a man who comes back from the dead and drinks your blood. Screw you, Bram Stoker. <laughs> right now, if there are any teenagers watching the show, which I seriously doubt, but if there are, they may be thinking, I've seen all the Twilight movies and I have no idea <laughs> who Bram Stoker is. No, no. And then I think that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Time for a sexy, quiet moment, I think. this Sunday night and then uh, that will be followed by the season premiere of How I Met Your Mother on Monday, both on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris, everybody. in here tonight very happy to see you <laughs> hey you, 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 look, you, you actually you look well I thought you you'd, you. you'd look worse you've been rehearsing all week for the Grammys the Grammys the, Grammy, the Emmys yes. yeah it's the Grammys the or the Grammys Emmys or the Oscars <laughs> we're putting them all together doing one giant the, massive the Groskers show. the Grass Gammys the Grass Gammys no, How's it going? Are you doing big week? dancey numbers and stuff? No, well, there is a dance uh, thing gotta. in the show. Yeah. We're not doing a big opening song and dance number because that's exhausting. But instead, they're doing a big choreographer's dance number. What does that mean? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> so normally, the choreographers get uh, an Emmy on the Creative Arts Emmys, which is the week previous, right? They right, do... the sort of like, you know, uh, kids' table Emmys. The, ki right. <laughs> <laughs> the kids' table Emmys. But we, I love the dancing. I think it's awesome to see, and there's so much dance on TV, and so you think you can dance. It's a great show, and all the talent is really strong. I feel like people know that it exists more than ever, so we're going to put uh, the Choreographer's Award on the Primetime Emmys. Right. And so I, I snuck in, and I, I surprised them all at a fake award show that we gave for them, and I, I challenged them with a task of, of they had to all five, all five of the nominees all together had to choreograph a number. They had to fi find the dancers, find the music. They had to use me, so it's going to be a big-ass dance number 
in the middle of the show, and then at the end of it, we'll give out the award to the choreographer, the best one. Well, no, wait. The, uh, when you say big ass, that's Where, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, booty, like twerky booty. Nice! <laughs> it sounds a bit like Project Runway with dancing. I like it, though. That's all right. It should be fun. You yeah, know, you got to find time to do uh, entertaining things on the Emmys, which is a little tricky because... you got to give out a lot of awards, man. I will never go back to that thing. First of all, they never give me an award. And secondly... <laughs> and secondly, you know, whenever... I, this is what I think is so great. You can host award ceremonies, and people don't hate you at the end of it. That's amazing, man. No, listen, if you knew anything about Hollywood, you'd know how, uh, uh, what a skill that is. Because most of the people there are not getting awards True. and leave in a very bad mood. True. But they go, True. well, at least Neil was there, and that's a good thing, and that's what they say. And two, most people that watch the Emmys from home, I think, want, want to watch, like, the traffic explosion and the show. Right, they want trouble, yeah. They want to see awful dresses, and they want to see people make mistakes, and that's, like, kind of why you watch the Emmys and yeah, the Oscars yeah. and all those things. Yes, absolutely. Do you do it, like, do you find yourself critiquing in your head? Do you, do you censor yourself when you see someone in an odd dress or, you know, perhaps visible spanks on stage or something like that? <laughs> Uh, yes, I keep it to myself. Yeah, see, I do. that's what... But didn't the Tonys win an award in the Emmys? Yeah, we won an Emmy last week for the so Tonys. So you won an award for hosting an award, man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to change the rules so we can win Emmys for hosting the Emmys. And just At the same time mega. as getting the Emmys. So what yeah. you should do is, like, host the Emmys, win the award for hosting the Emmys, as you host the Baguette. Emmys at the same time. That would be amazing. That would be like, that would be it. I don't know, it's, you know, it's a fine line because it's live and you want to be able to comment on things as they're happening, right? Yeah, At the same yeah, time, yeah. it's a really special event for the people that are... Yeah, there. I know, it matters to a lot of people, and that's, you've you got to be respectful of you it. You want to be respectful of it. Sure. But you kind of hope people trip. Absolutely. <laughs> Finally, I haven't seen you since New Orleans. Did you get any tattoos down there? Um, I didn't, I heard you got two. Two, man. On your nipples? Yeah. <laughs> Nipple Three kangaroo vaginas on my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that about kangaroos? That's a uh, real thing. Oh, wow, that's a lot of vaginas. <laughs> so, when I saw <laughs> you in that... <laughs> oh, I see where you're gonna, no, where I can, you're gonna take no, that. No, man, I consider you a friend and Thank I like you. you. So what Thank I'm you. saying is... <laughs> So what I'm saying is, did you have a yes. good time in New Orleans? I did. I, did you I, eat? Did you go I out? I ate all kinds of... You know the one thing I didn't eat? Pigeon. <laughs> you can choke on the feet. That's the danger. <laughs> They probably eat pigeon down there. Oh, yeah, pigeon uh, buffoon. Yeah, you're gonna... drunk pigeon. <laughs> oh. You're going to have yourself a side of drunk pigeon. Did, did you... Now, did you Which drink is also a, a sexual act. What, a drunk pigeon? <laughs> have you ever tried the drunk pigeon? I've done a couple of drunk pigeons. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, good times. Yeah, yeah. There's one called the uh, stranger kangaroo as well. Have you oh, ever... really? Is that like the chocolate you, dollar? Yeah, you, 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 the chocolate dollar's very different. Is no, it? Yeah. Chocolate dollar? Oh. Yeah. Can I put my finger in yeah, your bowl of chocolate stop. dollars? <laughs> stop it, man. So you can't do hey, any of this stuff. Craig, with, what? nice vest. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You... Really? Looks like, looks like you're, you're typing on a typewriter and you have a cigar in your head. A big story in the 1930s. <laughs> that's oh, right. Big hey. scoop, see? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Quick, get me the three surgeons. <laughs> I, I put on the vest because you were coming. I was going to try and look nice, and then I overdid it. I've obviously put on a little weight since the last time I wore it, and now it's all... I, I feel awful. I love it. <laughs> You're mocking me. You're openly mocking me. Can you close it? <laughs> yeah. All the way, Craig. I can close it, but I can't talk to you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. I'm like, you know that sad <laughs> feeling when you think in your head, Fatty had a party and nobody came. <laughs> oh, no. I like it. It's I have to dapper. go for hikes and stuff. <laughs> it's awful. I'll be up there with my big shorts. Hey, you, speaking you must of shorts, do a lot of... Speaking what? of shorts, mm -hmm. uh, for the Emmys... Oh, right, okay. Um, um, I, I, have a, I brought up a sneak thing for you guys, a picture of what the uh, dancers for the big dance number are going to wear. Did you? Their, their dance outfits. Do you have that picture of that? I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, I, I think a, a rating smash this year. Do you like it? Well, I, I like it. I, I, I'd wear it. I'm wearing it ah, now. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Now, 
when did you start controlling the pictures on my show? <laughs> Everywhere, man. <laughs> ask for a picture of Paul McCartney. Go and ask for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, oh, you got to see this. I brought a picture of Paul McCartney. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. That doesn't seem... That's not... Wait. Oh, that's him, all right. That's not. That's yeah. not. That's He's I, still the cute one. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never be That's on this Angela show. That's Angela Lansbury. Yeah, she, you know what she is? You know uh, what she is? Yeah, she's a legend of the musical theater and such. She's hosted the, M the Tonys one time more than I have. For now. You gonna do it again? For now, For Angela. now. <laughs> You're going down, Lansbury. She's a big woman, though. Have you ever met her? She's very tall. No, very tall. Who are you to talk about big women? Oh! Cause my vest doesn't hurt. <laughs> You're saying I'm a big lady because my vest is tight? You're shaming me, Neil. Angela, I think it pushes my boobies together. I think it's nice. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, how'd you end Good. your day, Neil? Uh, Motorboated Craig again. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's when you know it's the weekend. Well, you must uh, keep in shape. What do you do to keep in shape? A dance-off every uh, now and again? Or what? What is it? I mean, you're very trim and fit-looking. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> I exercise. Oh, really? Well, here's the thing I was, uh, on, on How I Met Your Mother as Barney. He's sort of a Lothario, and so you never know. We get the scripts like the week, the, the week before they're supposed to be filmed. Right. So sometimes he's like in a three-way in bed with, you know, two chicks and you have to be shirtless during that so you don't want to look all schlubby and you only have about a week before that has to happen so you have, so I don't have to always be maybe about to be on camera with oh, your shirt off which a... is enough scare to make you have to work out a lot that's a living <laughs> that's a living hell man that is a living hell I, I you just couldn't pay me well maybe you could pay me <laughs> what would it cost yeah, for you to take your shirt off right now oh that would be a lot <laughs> I'll give you five hundred dollars Okay. No. 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 no, wait. Look, I will write Michael, it. Michael, match that. Match that. No, let, let, me, under, let, me, let me just explain to you. <laughs> I'm already worried that I'm, a, that I'm a prostitute. If you start paying me actual cash to remove my clothing, then you would be a I'm, prostitute. I, I'm just a crack hole right there. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not doing it. Please don't. I love the idea that the young ladies in the audience will scream at the idea of me taking my shirt off, not thinking it through to what would happen if I actually did. <laughs> They're like, like, ah! Ah! Yeah. We'll be right back with Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris, we were just talking about this weekend. We like to go uh, fishing, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. love some bass fishing. Yeah, I like to go fishing. Right? <laughs> Have you ever been on the, uh, the what do you call it? The oh, the yeah. river. The river. Yeah, boo. <laughs> love it. Do you watch that show on TV with the, uh, uh, the Duck Dynasty? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never understood it. I, I, I've never seen it. I tried to watch it a little bit, and it, uh, it's, uh, it was kind of like a foreign language to me. I did I just... Yeah, didn't yeah. Understand. I have that problem with Honey Boo Boo as well. I'm like, you know, they're like, howdy, howdy, ding dong. I'm like, <laughs> I, I genuinely, I don't know what you're saying. They did a whole interview with the poor person that has to do the subtitling of right. that show, and she really, it took her a while to learn what exactly they were saying. It is kind of like a dialect, really, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. kind of like, oh, you need only your human You go back to the vest again, <laughs> aren't you? Oh, no. No, come, come on. on. Do you ever wear vests? Everyone's wearing them now. You know, in Hollywood, everyone's wearing vests. The yeah, it's a thing. Everyone's talking about you not wearing vests. The, th <laughs> the three piece suit is back. Is it? Yeah. I'll have the to... only reason they don't wear it on, on talk shows is because you end up sitting, right? And then the vest ends up doing that big, like, fumpy thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When you're standing wearing a vest, it, it, it fits nicely. Yeah. But when you're sitting wearing a vest, then it, like, you, it rides you up. either look like you have a gut or a boner. <laughs> Some of us got boners. Hey! <laughs> 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 Hey. I got a gun and a boner. Yeah. Oh, hardly all day, don't ding dong, honey. Quack, 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 quack. 
That was, that was a duck call. Yeah, that was me shooting a boner. Uh, <laughs> I've shot a couple boners oh, in my see, day. No, why? Why is that? Yeah, come on. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Yeah. Did that make you dance? Yeah, man. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. You like the boner conversation. Shooting boners, yeah, man. <laughs> what the hell, man? Come on. I was going to talk to Neil about Albuquerque. Yeah, we'll get to it. All right. <laughs> Albuquerque, man. How about that town? How about that town where you're from? I am from Albuquerque. I Did love you it. Did you just buy a house? Not there. <laughs> Not there. Did you, uh, did you do a movie with George Clooney? <laughs> it's my, I'm doing my talk show thing. Like, in talk shows, they say, I heard you just bought a house. And then you oh. tell me your anecdote about buying a house. Then I go, you did a movie with George Clooney. And then you tell me how great a guy he is. Well, ironically, I did just buy a house, and I just made a movie in New Mexico. With George Clooney? No. You're a, <laughs> you're a loser, man. <laughs> really? You made a movie in New Mexico? Yeah, Seth MacFarlane and Charlize oh, Theron. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. yeah, I know Seth a little bit. Yeah, it's called A Million Ways to Die in the West. Yeah, this sounds good. Super, super funny. Yeah. Uh, Does it have Solomon the teddy bear in it? In it? No, the teddy bear's not in it. It's not gonna work, man. But it's, it'll be really, really funny. Yeah, it will, yeah. Seth uh, likes to drink, too. So. Does he? Oh, man. <laughs> He's the only guest he comes on here, he gets ripped before he comes out. Really? Uh, yeah, he gets a little nervous on talk shows, so he liquors up. What's the booze? Uh, it smells a bit like bourbon. It's got that sweet smell in it, but mm. I can't say for sure. Sweet, sweet bourbon. You drink bourbon? I do. Really? I'm wasted right now. <laughs> if I closed my eyes, it would be like Seth MacFarlane was here. <laughs> So did you go see your folks when you were in uh, Albuquerque? I did, I did, I saw them. Yeah, that'd be awkward if you were there making a movie and didn't go see them. Ron and Sheila are their I'm, names. Well, I'm glad you know the names of your I, parents. I wish you'd say a little something to them. Hey, Ron, hey, Sheila. Um, what's up? Thanks. I can't wait to get back to Albuquerque running low on turquoise. <laughs> And bolo ties. Yeah. <laughs> I like that little square they got there where you can buy the, uh, what's the name of that square? It's called uh, Old Town. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I, that was, I was checking to see I'm... if you really were from Albuquerque. <laughs> it's all I've been ways. there like three or four times and you've never been there, man. And I've never seen Ron or Sheila. And I think all this, ooh la la. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying you're from Albuquerque to appear glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more glamorous than being in the, the crystal meth town from Breaking Bad. <laughs> I like uh, Albuquerque. It's all right. It's a great place. Yeah, it's got that yeah, balloon festival. They call it the land of enchantment. Y no, I thought it was Disneyland, man. <laughs> no, that's the happiest place on earth. No, no, that's North Korea. I think I just got into trouble a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was, I was going to end the bit right there. <laughs> yeah, they have the balloon fiesta that's there. Yeah, right, that's that the, thing, the, yeah. The world's largest mass ascension of hot air balloons. I took our kids there last year. We were supposed to go this year, and we couldn't make it. What, what, what time of year is that? That's right around now. It's, it's October. Well, let's get up. the hell out of here. You should, you should do a remote from Albuquerque. I'm not doing any remotes. Why, you're going to the Venetian next week. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> New Patrick Harris, the Emmys on Sunday night. Hey! You can do your own joke. <laughs>